Why, hello there, friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new around these parts, hello. Thank you so, so much for clicking in today's video. Oh, I'm so excited for the spread. In today's video, I am memory planning for the week of July 3rd, you guys. This is definitely not what I initially thought I'd be using, but here we are, <laughs> y'all. I'm just, I can't even believe how much I love how this turned out because I really was skeptical about this. But let's go through what I'm using. I'm using the Caress Press. I do not remember what month this was. Was it the June mystery? Maybe May mystery? I think it was the May mystery. But it's called Beach Club and I'm just obsessed with the colors of this kit. I love the colors of this kit. I feel like this is one of those um, mysteries, which I feel like Caress, can we? Wait a minute. Can we just discuss how good the Caress Press Mysteries have been this year? Can we just have a moment for that? Because I feel like she's having just a great year over there. Maggie is just having a great year and she already does great things. But I just feel like specifically we need to highlight the fact that this year's mysteries have been phenomenal like I've been picking up a lot of them I'm not subscribed because I know she always brings the overstock to shop which I greatly appreciate and so I take advantage there of the things that I want to use but like oh, so good so so good anyways I love this kit I love like the addition of the black and that like deep green I feel like it's not super traditional summer colors and I think that's one of the reasons I really loved this set so had to pick up the overstock when it came to shop. Um, I paired it with, so it came with a kind of dark green and I'm in love with the deep green in this kit, like oh, so in love with it. And it came with a very dark green um, foil bundle. And at first I was like, I don't know, like I don't know if I wanna do that, but y'all I'm so glad I did cause it's such a vibe. So as you can see, I used bougie boxes from Planahanna. I forgot which they're probably like palm leaves or something like that. I'm going to assume I don't remember the name of the underlays, but I got them in that same dark green. And I think this is her light pink. I'll look I'll look it up and pop it in the caption. I think it's her light pink and I'll find the underlay underlay names as well since I suck right now. I can't remember anything I used, but the underlays are from Planet Hannah and then the rest of the foil is from the foil bundle that came with the mystery, um, which is just like this palm leaves themed foil bundle in that dark green color. And I am just so obsessed with how this came out. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. I was like, I don't know, maybe the green and the pink is gonna be too much. Maybe I should just do green and maybe like black bougie. <sighs> I went back and forth, but I'm, I'm so obsessed, y'all. I can't, this is like one of my favorites of the year. I can't even, I cannot even. And this week, this week was actually such a great week, mostly. <laughs> I have funny stories for y'all. I actually did things this week, so I'll probably talk through the day by day. I might even talk through the stickers for a change. Who knows? But this was a really, really great week, actually, um, because I basically planned a little getaway for myself because I really, really needed it. If you guys watched my last plan with me, you know that I had a really bad argument with my boyfriend and I just needed some space, I think. I, need, I needed some space, not just from him, but just from my life. Um, <laughs> so I planned a little getaway to go to Connecticut and see my friends, which is like the best like chicken soup for the soul. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys remember those books. But it's the best chicken soup for the soul ever for me. Like that is the best thing for me when I need to get away, to just go home. I still consider Connecticut to be home. It's where I grew up um, and to see my people, like that is the best thing for me to get away from the madness. Like, look at this, look at how good this foil looks. Oh my God, anyways, anyways. So I planned that for a few days this week because of course with the holiday, I had some time off and luckily I'm so thankful to be working remotely in the summer. So. The, the days I didn't have off, I just kind of brought my laptop with me and worked. Um, and it was so great. And I'm really hoping now that oh, I think we're just, I'm not even going to put it out there. We're going to have summers remote <laughs> forever and ever. 
But I think that since that's a thing, I'm going to try to do that more often, like just do quick getaways, just bring my laptop just to recharge and get away from life for a little bit. But it was so, so great to see my people, y'all. It's just it's my absolute favorite thing ever. So I just I can't tell you enough how much I, I really, really enjoyed it. So that was pretty much what happened this week trying to think of what else happened this week (laughs) there were some bombshells dropped this week too in regards to things I can't talk about um but wow yeah in my in my personal life nothing to do with like the shop or anything like that just in my personal life where I was just like bro what is happening oh more exciting things I'm I'm sorry I have my (laughs) I have my planner open to the spread. Can we have a minute for the fact that I actually have my planner open to the spread? Like usually when I'm doing these, my planner is nowhere near me. And I actually have my planner in front of me so I can give you all the day by day tea. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, But I just saw, and I'm so glad I saw because I didn't want to forget to mention this, but you guys, it has been confirmed. Mm, So excited. It's been confirmed. Then I'm going to be traveling for work for a conference this fall, and I'm so excited. Um, I'm actually excited for the conference, like not just because of where it is. When I tell you where it is, you guys, you guys are going to be like, of course you're excited. And the conference is in Orlando, Florida. And those of you who know me know that I have a thing with Disney. Like we just have a thing. As many of us in the planner community have a thing with Disney. So you know I'm going to take advantage and go, and it means that I'm going to be able to do Halloween at Disney, like not actual Halloween day, but like the Halloween festivities, like we're planning to do Not So Scary, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I've always wanted to do Halloween in Disney, because I think it's going to be so fun. I actually do have a, a goal to do Christmas in Disney too at some point, even though I don't like Christmas, I will like Disney Christmas. That's a fact. <laughs> That's that's an entire fact. Um, But I'm so excited, you guys, because it got approved this week. I'm just over the moon. It got approved this week and I started being able to book things this week. And it's just like it's really happening. I have been like low key, like pulling things together um, in regards to like the kit I want to use for that week for like a year, even though it hasn't really been confirmed until now, although My boss was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I was like, I'm just one of those people who's like, if it's not booked yet and I don't have like official approval, it's not happening. (sighs) Not everything is booked yet, but most things are booked. I'm hoping to get my not so scary um, party ticket next week, which this current week that I'm doing this voiceover in is my birthday week, too. So I feel like it's a nice little birthday gift. I'm just... I'm just living right now. I'm living. So I'm so, so excited that I get to do it. And I was saying I've been pulling like together what I want to use for that week. But I don't want to say too much. But a kit has been released. That literally matches that event to a T. And I have a problem because I had another kit planned and like foil pulled and like I'm so excited for the combo, but like an actual kit has been released for the event. So like, I, I feel like I need to use that kit because it's literally for the event and I have to save the other one, but that pains me. And I feel like as a planner, you know, I'm living in planner world here. Y'all get it more so than anyone would. I'm just, I'm just having a little bit of an issue with it but it's okay stay tuned to future hauls to see what I'm talking about because I will talk about it when I haul it (laughs) trust me but I'm so excited at the same time I'm still so excited so I'm hoping to do that and then we might it's a big maybe y'all but I might be up in Universal Horror Nights and for those of you who have been following me for a minute you know that like I am not (laughs) really a Horror Nights girl but my boyfriend really, really wants to do it. So I might do it. I might. Like, I feel like I'd be okay with the scare zones. It's the haunted houses that I feel like I'm not going to be okay with. But if y'all follow Horror Nights and Universal, 
this year they're going to have a Stranger Things house. And then I feel obligated to go through the house because Stranger Things and we love Stranger Things. Also season four was iconic. So I'm like, I don't know. But also season four is going to scare the life out of me if I walk through the house. I already know. So I'm going to have to do lots of pre-therapy to get through this (laughs) and post-therapy just therapy in general um but I might do it for the sake of my boyfriend and I just found out that they still have like their regular attractions open during horror nights I could have sworn they just shut it down and just did horror nights but they have regular attractions open and you know there's going to be no wait for those attractions because everyone's going to be basically at the stranger things house (laughs) they also have a last of us house and I know that's going to be popular too given the popularity of the show so Anyways, we're already well into the day by day. So let's summarize as quickly as I can. I was going to go into it sticker by sticker, y'all. But given how far I am into the day by day, I think I'm just going (laughs) to summarize. So Monday, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video that my job gave us the day off, which was so kind. And I was so grateful because I used the day pretty much to clean. For those of you who don't know, I really like to make sure my house is clean when I'm going on a trip, any trip, whether it's a short trip, long trip. I just want to make sure that I come home to a clean house because that puts me at ease. I would be very very anxious if I came home to a duddy a a duddy a dirty cluttered house so I like to just clean before I leave it's just it's a habit now let me know if you guys feel the same but I am very much that way so I did that and I've had this odd obsession you guys with Burger King lately like don't ask me I had Burger King twice at least twice this week that I'm planning for like I don't know why I have an obsession with Burger King right now. Like, I don't know why, but I do. (laughs) It's ridiculous. Um, So I had Burger King on Monday just to keep up with that obsession. And then basically just started to get some of the kind of shit show part that's been happening in my life. That started kind of on this Monday of this week. I can't really get into it for many, many reasons, but I do want to talk about it with y'all. So whenever I can, trust me, I will. Um, But that kind of started to unfold on Monday. But that was neither here nor there because the next day I was going away on my little getaway, which was the fourth. So I actually left on the fourth. For Connecticut, I got there and then I picked up just a couple things from Target, like, you know, like snacks and stuff just to have in the room for if I get hungry later at night. And then I just chatted. I FaceTimed with my boyfriend because it was just kind of a hotel day. Like I didn't see anyone this day. Um, And then y'all and then the fire alarm in the hotel went off at like 4 a.m. It was like three or four in the morning. So imagine being woken up by that so I was sleeping of course and then I woke up to because the fire alarms at least in this hotel have of course the alarm that's super loud um which is the point which I get and then it also has like this blinding flashing light and of course my room's pitch black because I was sleeping so I'm woken up to this loud ass alarm and these flashing lights in my face like I couldn't see anything because the lights were blinding me and the lights were out in my room so I'm trying to like fumble around for the freaking light so I can see something I'm trying to grab my my glasses and then I'm I'm in that like split second moment where I'm like okay is this a drill or something really happening and I'm like if something's really happening you need to get your shit and go So I just grabbed like my um, glasses, I think my jacket, and I just ran out. And of course, I was on the highest floor. So I had to run down the stairs, you guys. It was just like, I know why they're there, but it was just such a terrible way to be woken up. I was so flustered. And then, you know, it was like waiting out whether anything was happening. It didn't seem like anything was happening. And I still don't know to this day what triggered it. But oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not fun. No bueno. No bueno. Um, So after that, of course, I could not fall back asleep. So I was tired the whole entire day. Um, And then I did bring my laptop for the next day, which is the fifth, to do some work. And then I saw one of my best friends this day. We spent most of the afternoon together just catching up. Um, I got more Burger King because I'm obsessed and I feel bad. (laughs) 
<laughs> she didn't care. Like, she was like, I don't care where we go. But it was funny because I was like, I just kind of want Burger King. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, it's fine. But really, is it fine? I don't think it's fine. So we ate Burger King and caught up and just had such a great time. And yeah, it was just so good. Like I said, chicken soup for the soul. Then Thursday morning I checked out so I was there from the 4th through the 6th so I checked out on Thursday morning and as I was literally walking down to check out you guys the fire alarm went off again again and I was like hi can I just hand you this key like everyone was outside um so I went up to the like um the rep whatever you call them and I was like can I just concierge whatever the hell you call them I was like can I just give you this key because I'm checking out they're like oh we're so sorry blah 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 I'm like "Uh uh-huh Bye. And like, I love this hotel that I stay at, but like twice with the fire alarm. And I think I heard him. I mean, I was leaving at that point, so I didn't care as much. But I think I heard him say like, oh, it's probably just someone smoking in the room. I'm like, that's a problem. (laughs) Like there's literally massive signs that say do not smoke in the room. No smoking. That's a problem. So I would stay there again one more time. But if we have an issue like this the next time, then I feel like I'm just going to have to find another place. And that really sucks because I really like like the location of this one is great. The price usually is pretty good. So I was bummed about that. But anyways, this was also the day I got approved for my work trip, which is so exciting. So, so exciting. So I definitely mark that. Um, And then let's see, I think the rest of the weekend was just kind of like normal. Did some filming, um, did some cleaning. I went to see my parents on Sunday as usual. I'm just summarizing because I know we're getting towards the end. And I did some more cleaning. (laughs) So um, I think I, oh, I think I actually did all that cleaning because we had family coming in town the next week. Yep. Yep. You guys will see that for next week's plan with me. Which again, pros and cons to seeing lots of family this summer, but alas. Um, That's really it, you guys. I'm trying to think of, I don't think there was anything else pretty noteworthy that happened for the rest of the week. Yeah, that was it. The highlight was really getting approved for my work trip in the fall and then having my little getaway, which was so needed. And I just felt like I I came back like in such a better mental space. Um... And I'm so happy. I'm like, can I do this again? But I don't think I'm going to be able to fit another one in before I go back into the office, which you guys is coming up so soon. I think I have like three weeks left and I'm just, ugh, it's so hard. (laughs) It's so hard. But I won't complain because I know a lot of people are not working remotely in the summer like I am. So it's all good. But here is the completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really adore how this came out. Here I am flipping through what's left, y'all. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. And I will see y'all real, real soon. Bye.